Describing the Guam Memorial Hospital as a basket case, Dr. Sam Friedman appeared before the legislature's health committee this morning, hoping to garner support for his nomination to sit on the Guam Board of Medical Examiners. Former GBME Chair Dr. Jerome Landstrom testified in favor of his colleague's nomination, saying the inaction and actions of the former board failed to protect the public and maintain the standard of care on the island. It is not fair that some physician physicians should be, <clears throat> be suspended or revoked or have undue attention brought to them while the same thing or similar issues are completely swept under the rug and the table by, because of somebody else's connections politically. Dr. Friedman made it clear he wants the job and believes he can bring balance to the board to improve medical care for patients and to start holding physicians more accountable. There was a uh, young woman who died in labor about two months ago, a totally preventable case, something that a junior medical student wouldn't do. And this never came up to scrutiny at all. So uh, it's not only the people coming in, it's the people that are here as well. I think the quality of medical care has to be brought up to a standard that the rest of the Western world has. He also believes that every physician on Guam should have to accept MIP and Medicaid patients, as many currently do not. We have probably a 40% MIP Medicaid population, and uh, it's just, I think, uh, terrible to try to get a doctor to see a patient and he won't be seen because he or she doesn't have a, an insurance that pays enough. Friedman also believes medical, nursing and pharmacy care at the Guam Memorial Hospital are not up to standards. He believes health care professionals should be required to undergo regular education and training specific to their field. He made it clear he's not against the Joint Commission that recently accredited the hospital after being paid six and a half million dollars in the past two and a half years. The question I have and the point I was making was Jacob was costing a tremendous amount of money, number one. Number two, that money is being taken away from patients' care in the way of drugs, equipment, and services. Number three, there's a much better way to spend the money that the previous hospital was wasting and still meet Jayco. Although no one appeared at the hearing to testify in opposition of Dr. Friedman's nomination, lawmakers received a petition from GMH nursing supervisor Sully Megerbang with signatures from nurses discouraging his confirmation based on allegations that he made derogatory and borderline racist comments to nurses. Dr. Friedman denied ever making those remarks and others who work with him, like Christine Lewis, and others who are treated by him, like Gloria Nelson, urge lawmakers to look beyond the politics. Dr. Friedman has never turned a patient away, including those who cannot pay. As he says, patients come first, we'll worry about the others later. I'm very much alive. And that's because Dr. Friedman is the kind of doctor, and you know I won't tell a lie. I'll tell you how this is. He's one doctor that I found that will tell you as it is, just like I do. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Indiagan.